Hi everyone, I'm Joe. I'm Kevin. And I'm Nick, and we're the Jonas Brothers. Cool, so uh, any particular boy bands you perhaps inspired to, like in the, the years gone by, that you look towards, like NC, Backstreet Boys? Um, you know, boy bands, uh, you know, we grew up, you know, listening to them, I guess. Um, you know, Backstreet Boys, we actually got to open for them a long time ago, very early in our career. But um, as a band, you know, we, we're, we consider ourselves, I guess, a pop rock band, you know, definitely, um, we love that. But the boy bands, definitely like the Backstreet Boys and Sync are, you know, you know, we definitely listened to them when we were growing up. <laughs> and I noticed that you recorded your album while on the road. How's that? Hard work? Because I suppose you're touring and gigging and then coming off exhausted and then you're going to have to go and you know, write music in between. Um, I think for us it was more of a just fun. You know, We got to go and bring a tour bus out on the road and just kind of like experiment, have fun in the studio while on the road. And you're really inspired when you're out there. And um, it's actually for our record that will be releasing in August in the States. Um, but the record that's releasing here in um, June is uh, was actually just recorded in the studio. Okay, cool. What are the best and worst things about being on the road? The best and worst things. I think the best thing is being able to see so many different places, and meet the fans that that are and you know they have their CD and you never met them. It's cool that, that you get to meet them. And I think another one is probably um, the worst thing. I mean, sometimes you don't get that much sleep, but that's just how it is. And <laughs> and uh, but we enjoy we enjoy what we do. We love it. It's the best thing in the world. Any places in particular that have got a, a kind of uh, soft spot in your heart for that you visited? And- um, you know, especially here in the UK, you know, we've got to travel a lot in the last couple of weeks with that, on our tour with Avril, and it's been amazing. And you know, just being able to experience it all and see the fans, and you know, really, you know, play music that people haven't heard yet here is really, really exciting for us. What particularly about the UK is it? Is there any funny if you? Just be able to get, being able to like drive through the countryside and constantly every day and just like seeing and then of course coming back to London and you know on on the nights is just amazing and the city is just phenomenal and this is definitely somewhere that you know holds dear in our hearts. <laughs> okay, and I mean we had a spate of kind of uh, reformations recently. Spice Girls, um, who else? Uh, Backstreet Boys, I think got back together and then also uh, back from the eight Jordan Knights band. New Kids on the Block. New Kids on the Block. I should right. mention that. Yeah, what do you think? What do you make of that? Do you think they're too old to be doing it, or do you think it's all good? I think it's great. You know, it's cool that they're still making music and um, they're still out there rocking. Yeah. Okay. Now, if you guys were a fruit, to describe your music as a fruit, because it's quite hard to <laughs> pigeonhole music nowadays. I think. And yes, kind of, it is. It's everything, and I don't like it. I think it's a bit lazy. If you're a fruit, though, what would you be, and why? I think an orange. They seem very orange, yeah, and, and it's full very of life. Full of life. Citrusy. Tastes Citrusy. good. Bit of zest. A bit of zest. Yeah. There you go. Okay, now you share the same manager as Justin Timberlake. Any wise words from the, the man himself? Um, always. Uh, Johnny Wright's a great guy. We're also managed by our father and um, a guy named Phil McIntyre. And uh, they're all, you know, amazing every day, um, you know, making sure everything's good and just uh, helping us uh, have fun. And, it's you know, our management team is is really important. It's like family, so it's cool. We've actually never met Justin yet. We have not met Justin. Um, that's something we hope to do, hopefully very soon, actually. But we'll see what happens. So you'd like to meet someone you maybe like to work with? That would be cool. Maybe yeah. work with Justin one day. That'd be cool. Definitely. We definitely love his music. His last album was unbelievable. He's, he's kind of, uh, he seems like quite good. He, I'm sure he'll go on for generations. And the fact he can kind of seems to, yeah, reinvent himself all the time. Uh, well, um, anyone you'd like to work with? Um, I think like the dream person for all of us would be like Elvis Costello. Um, big Elvis Costello, as you can see. And I um, <laughs> think, um, Prince. yeah, Prince for sure would be Prince great. Would be amazing. Okay, cool. And so tell us what you've got coming up then. You're in the UK at the minute, you're doing a bit of uh, touring? Yep. Yeah, we're doing a bit of touring with Avril, and then we fly home for a day and do the premiere of Camp Rock in America, Disney Channel movie that we just filmed. And then we go from there, we fly back here, finish the tour with Avril, and then we go on our own tour in the US. Um, it will be the Burning Up tour, and we're very excited about it. So it's gonna, we're looking forward to it. And how's it working and touring with Avril? I suppose you're hanging out with her quite a bit, or yeah, I mean, we're all kind of on different schedules. You know, she's doing um, her press stuff, and we're doing ours. You know, we're always we're trying to get as much time in you know the UK as we can, especially with all the press because we're normally here for a short time, seeing as we're from the US. So you know, we're always going somewhere, like radio stations. You know, going back to London when we have like a day off or something. So we're keeping really busy, but the tour's been amazing. Do you have any weird st- like kind of uh, warm ups for the stage? I had the Stones, Rolling Stones, apparently Jagger spends an hour on the treadmill and then he's straight onto the stage. That's insane. Um, wow. That's awesome. wow. We 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 typically like to just um, like I do, I do some push ups and things like that and um, stretch and warm up our voices. You know, 
pray, get ready for the show, um, get make sure we're focused. We have like about a 45 minute um, before the show. We like to just focus and have some alone time to get ready, mentally ready for the show and remember all the words and sometimes play our own music because we get, you know, get it in our heads. How are you dealing with the girls? The girls are great, you know. Um, the female fans are awesome. They're really energetic, um, very excited all the time, and um, we definitely don't mind it. It's great. Yeah. It's not a bad thing, is it? That's no, cool. No. That's brilliant. Thank, Thank you. Thank